Oh, typical easy right here. First base I see, 500,000 in Elixir, and I can't even hold it. Hmm. What's up everybody, it's Easy, Easy Street Gaming, bringing you an attack that we've showed on this channel several times in the past, it's an attack that was used on us over a year ago, we fought a clan from China, every person in the clan used this exact same attack on, on us, so we had a couple guys in our clan, including Flex Luger, decided to pick it up, and uh, that's why we call it the Flex, he worked on it for several months, uh, you'll see here, uh, to do this video, I decided I was going to farm with it with one of my mini Sable. And after the first couple times, I forgot how to do it because my memory sucks. But after the first few times, and it has plowed every base that I played. Um, what it is, is it's a queen walk. We, we're going to do a queen walk down one side of the base. We're going to do a bowler walk down the other side of the base. And then we're going to come up the center of the base with the giants, valkyries, and wizards. Kind of like, uh, that's the kill squad. I call it a wrecking ball kill squad because it's, it's really the main part of the attack. But we're also going to encompass the kill squad with that too. Now, because we're not going to pull the clan castle troops, uh, you do have a small risk of the clan castle troops coming out on top of the, um, on top of the bowlers. And that's the only risk you have. So... Okay, starting out, I was like, whoa, wait a minute now. This is not anything like I thought. Now, this particular base, we decided to go a little differently. Uh, normally, you start off in two corners, but because this 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 is a very common base in Town Hall 9, and if I was not using this particular attack, I'd always attack from a corner, jump in from the first corner, and, and tackle the base that way. So I still decided to play this base the same way, just because I know how to do it this way. It's so, so easy for me this way. Uh, so... The bowlers didn't go out around the outside in this particular case. And that is what you really want with this attack. You want the bowlers to go around the outside. You want the queen to go around the outside. You want the rest of the troops to go through the middle. Uh, the reason is, is if the bowlers go to the inside, the healers will jump off the bowlers and usually go, end up on the king. And uh, the bowlers, you need, that, you need the healers on them. You really do because they are, they're, I wouldn't say they're squishy, but they're not the most durable troops. In Town Hall 9, they, you know, they last a lot longer. In Town Hall 10, they're smashed without, without healers or some kind of heal spell or something. But uh, in Town Hall 9, it, they, they last a lot longer. Anyway, we're still going around the top side of the base with the Queen. Now, what you have to watch for is you have to watch for the air defenses. Uh, people are keen on, on where to put their air defenses because of how popular the Queen Walk is. If the air defenses are on the edge, you're fine. Because the queen or the bowlers, they'll, they'll handle the air defenses before the healers get to them. If they put them back behind that second layer of walls, and you know that the queen, it's out of the queen's reach, and therefore it's out of the bowler's reach, when they walk by, there's a very good chance that the healers tagging along will, will take the impact from those air defenses. You'll lose the healers before the, uh, the queen or the bowlers end up on the back side of the base, and that's how you lose at this attack. So you have to be mindful of where the air defenses are, and that's how you'll pick which which walls to walk down, and that's that's typical with any kind of queen walk or, or any walk whatsoever. You know, there's so many walks now. You have a witch walk, bowler walk, queen walk. Uh, people are even doing peckle walks. Those are inside the base. But um, okay, again on this attack, we start off with the queen and we start off with the bowlers fairly close together. Uh, this is a pretty risky thing to do. Uh, a lot of times, all the troops end up together. But, um, again, I've played this exact, you know, what, once you've played for a, long enough, you've seen a lot of these bases. These are not original bases. Uh, these, I, I'm not saying they are internet bases, but they're pretty close. So, um, got the queen to go around the outside on the right. Got the bowlers to go around the outside on the left. Uh, we have the giants, the valkyries, and the king and the wizard all, all going into the core. Um, they, they, we, we don't bring wall breakers because the giants will easily crunch through that first wall and then we'll raise them through up and up, you drop a rage on them, that will push them up to the next layer of walls, which will jump over the next layer of walls, by that time you're through about two thirds of the base, and that's when this tag starts to slow down a little, and 
you'll see this a lot when using this attack because I have seen this attack literally a thousand times. We have several guys in our clan that use this attack consistently in war and what we've seen a lot is that the the wrecking ball or the kill squad going through this through the core they'll dwindle out right at the back end of the base and then you're gonna have to rely on the queen walk in the bowler walk to get you through the back side of the base so now you've seen the queen just went down <clears throat> and it actually gets kind of uh, risky right here we have a baby dragon up we have and, and the baby dragon is just an added an added troop uh, I would suggest bringing the baby dragon or one or two uh, one or two um, hog riders or one or two balloons just something uh, to help clean up one two, one or two extra buildings sometimes you just need that one or two extra buildings to go down to, to get the three star but now this right here was probably the best split that I've ever seen the bowlers take there's three bowlers left there's one crossbow left the healers are keeping those two bowlers up they're 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 bouncing the, the boulders on the skip they get the second wall open uh, one of the bowlers get caught gets caught up by a spring trap meanwhile you have a third boulder going on the back uh, sniper style and uh, it's gonna take it out I don't think I've ever seen that before that bowl the artificial intelligence on that particular attack was so advanced that they'd have no idea how good it really even was <laughs> okay now this is a uh, I decided to I came back on I, I had a couple recordings and I wanted to see I, I had this attack built I, I also had another one built up so as long as I can keep the the heroes somewhat alive I could get two attacks off in a row and I came up to a base pretty quick and not I, I wanted to find a max town hall 9 because this attack will work against a max town hall 9 uh, I just couldn't pass this up this is a pretty good base I mean it, it actually you know the storages don't really give you as much as completely full collectors uh, the completely full collectors that's when you see the six and seven hundred thousand uh, of each golden elixir but that list looks pretty when you see a base like that you've got to go for it man that's that's slap full so we went for it started off with the queen walk in the bottom right corner uh, the bowler walk is on the, that top left corner and I, I kept the baby dragon and went in with uh, the Giants the Valkyries the Wizards try to hold on to a wizard or two now one of the great things about this attack is that we teach the guys in the clan that are just c coming to Town Hall 9 um, there's a lot of complex attacks in Clash of Clans you have you have the Laloon which you're constantly dropping troops you're constantly having to maneuver around the base then you have more complex attacks like you yeah, add the Golem or, or Kill Squad Galaloon or the Golaloon or Govalaloon. And now you have some really complex attacks and there's a lot of user error with those attacks. With the Flex, there's just not as much because you're putting in 95% of the attack at right up at the beginning. Now I know a lot of advanced players, they kind of frown on that. They call it a spam attack. Um, but it's just the way this attack was designed. It was designed this way. You need all the troops right away. You need the bowler walk and the queen walk to come in at the same time to start off. And you need that big bulk of troops going and hitting the, the core walls right away too. So it's actually by design that you put everything in at once. It's not just because you're just spamming everything in at once. And then it just works out to where a player that's not as advanced in the game and that kind of gets nervous or gets distracted and starts watching one part of the base and ends up losing a hero or can't you know that misses spells or whatever you know this is a lot better style of attack for them because they're putting everything in at one time and they can focus on those few spells they have to drop and it's a lot easier for them to just pay attention to that those few things they have to do other than maybe having to drop 24 or 25 balloons over the course of the whole attack not saying this is a better attack than Laloon uh, you know I think Laloon is still the strongest attack in Clash got the May, May 2017 update coming up we have one of those um, maybe a buff maybe a nerf on the balloons coming up we'll see but um, had to make a few adjustments here I'm building the next army and I've already got the army built I think I'm just gonna have to throw a few gems on the king to, 
Just uh, I want to start the attack any day now. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't edit this out. I usually do. I think what I was doing actually right now is I was going. Yeah, there's Ezekiel. That's my main. I was going. I was getting on my main to uh, donate my. It's always nice to be able to donate yourself max troops. <laughs> kind of spoil yourself. So going on the last, uh, the last attack. So when you have an attack like this, where you can do multiple attacks back to back, and you can consistently three star, now you know you have an attack that you're ready for war with. And I have one last replay at the end. That is a war attack. It was done by one of our guys, uh, Lord Liam. He uses the attack frequently in war. And I'm telling you, he, he it's a great attack, especially once you've used it a bunch. The person who, ori who originally uh, started using this attack, Flex, he can do this attack in his sleep. And it's amazing how well his timing is now. And it's just one of those things that uh, if you use it over and over, there's just less room for error. And I say this because I use, for example, I, I use La Luna a lot for examples because I think that's that's one of the more complicated attacks. And I know a lot of people do it really well, but it, it's still, there's so much that can go wrong. And I still see, even our experienced guys, one star with it in war, I do it all, more than I should, I know. Because of how complex it is and how much stuff is going on and my dog gets in the way. It's, I'm telling you. <laughs> If you have kids or animals, they are in front of you during every war attack. You know, you only do two war attacks every 24 hours. And for some reason, during that three minutes, something has to happen in my household every time. That's what. That's a great excuse. About as good as the disconnect. So I think we finally found a base. This looks like it's, uh, it's not maxed out on walls. But it's close. It's got, uh, it's got, I think, level nine walls. I think you can max out to level ten. But it's got level nine walls. And let's talk about walls for a second while we're gearing up for this attack. Maxing out your walls at Town Hall nine. I know it's a grind. I know it's difficult. It takes forever. Uh, it's, it's a huge deal. It is the difference between two and three stars, and it, it, so often, because in Town Hall nine, you, there's just not enough spells. To be able to jump over or earthquake every single wall. So you're going to have to beat your way through at least one set of walls. Usually in an attack. If you're doing a ground attack. And if they have max walls. And their troops happen to dwindle down by the end of the attack. When they're having to beat through that last wall. That's how you end up stopping a lot of these high end attacks. So maxing out your walls in Town Hall 9. It's in a hugely underrated thing. Because a lot of people will go to Town Hall 10 without maxed out walls. Because it helps with their base weight. But I... I would I would gamble on on maxing out those walls other than going in there because of the base weight I think it's a much better benefit for you in the long run Especially if you plan on being a max player and maxing everything out because once you get to town hall 10 everything is so expensive You don't want to catch up on walls So he, here's another uh, great example of how strong this attack really is there's so many angles that, that this base was getting pummeled by. You have the queen taking out everything on the right side. You had the king and the Valkyries and the, and the giants clearing, clearing out the entire core. And now you have a queen almost at full health. And she has three defenses left. All of them already weakened by the, by the previous attack. So this is, an, this is easily three starred. And she's not the highest level queen. This is a level 18 queen. So I, I know it's not terrible or anything, but level 18 is about half max for Town Hall 9. So next attack is in Clan Wars. This is the last attack in the video. I know it's kind of a long video, sorry, but I wanted, I had, I actually had three more attacks that I had on this video. But I wanted to cut it to under 20 minutes. 
And I, if you're not using this attack in Town Hall 9, I really think you're missing out on something. Um, our, our clan, we may use this attack 10 times in a war. And we'll average seven to eight three stars with it. If we're if we're in a big war, we may use it more times. So it's got about a sixty-five to seventy-five percent three star uh, um, percentage, which is pretty damn good for a ground attack, especially these days where air is so strong. But I've heard other people say it. I think I was listening to Power Bang, and he was talking to him about uh, the miners and how how valuable miners are because so many people are protecting from air attacks. So going in with these ground attacks at, in this day and age is not a bad idea because the, all, there are so many bases that have, I've seen bases that have all four air defenses in the core and they have everything else all stretched out. And that is, I mean, when you see all four air defenses semi close to the core, you know that that base is, is protecting air and that they'll be more vulnerable to a ground attack. And oh, I, I, I forgot to mention now, <laughs> excuse me, um, after Liam gets done with his attack, he comes into the chat and raising hell because uh, someone donated him a poison instead of the, the fourth earthquake. So he started off the attack, he didn't recognize it when he, when he first started, but he started off the attack with three earthquakes and a poison, so he never got to earthquake the first set of walls. And uh, this base right here, I, I'm counting probably 25 to maybe 40 walls that aren't maxed out other than that it's a completely maxed out town hall 9 and anti three star this is not an easy base to three star uh liam's got level 25 and 21 heroes combined so about level 45 combined and uh, so that's pretty good heroes uh, your heroes are a huge factor in, in all of these attacks um i know you if you guys watch a lot of youtube the, when you see a lot of these super successful attacks, a lot of them have max heroes. Um, and that's another thing. Walls and heroes. I, I know that's the two things that people have the hardest time maxing out because they are so damn expensive. But they are a huge part of the game. So max out those walls. Max out those heroes. And use the flex. I know it's not a, uh, I know it's not a clash attack. Um, you can call it your attack if you want. We call it ours. We got it from someone from China. They probably can't even understand me, so we stole it. But it was working on it for a year. It's called the Flex. Great ground attack, especially in Town Hall 9. You can use it in Town Hall 10 too, but especially in Town Hall 9. So appreciate everyone for watching. Use the attack. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. Until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.